One woman is taking it upon herself to cut through the civics clutter. Sharon McMahon is known as America's favorite government teacher. Yeah, every day she takes to Instagram, clearing up misinformation with some straightforward facts. KSL News Radio's Boyd Matheson got some great advice from her about civility for our series, A More Perfect Union. From war to the Electoral College. Framers of the Constitution could not agree on how to choose a president. And mass mandates. This is a completely nonpartisan factual examination of whether or not it is constitutional. Number Former high school teacher Sharon McMahon educates SCP. nearly one million. Sharon says so Instagram followers about it's democracy only using only truth only and logic, an no hate allowed. The American public is hungry to learn how to think and not be told what to think. Based in Minnesota, her largest contingent of followers comes from Utah. One of the things that I think um, Utahns and I have in common are just some basic ideals that I think we can recognize in each other, that civic engagement is very important. The Atlantic says McMahon has built something rare, a place where people can talk kindly to one another and occasionally even change their minds. Most Americans want very similar things and they differ on how to get there. But if we can reframe the conversation about what needs to happen in America to be more about how can we work together to achieve those things than spend all of our time screaming at each other on the Internet, I think we would have a very different uh, political landscape. How do we change that and get to that higher ground, common ground? Instead of waiting for a politician or, you know, a media pundit to come save us, we're the ones we've been waiting for. So it starts with truly each one of us in our own homes and the way we speak to our children, the way we frame conversations around the dinner table. That is truly where it begins. She also thinks it is important to understand what the Constitution does and does not say. Especially the First Amendment starts out with Congress shall make no law. It doesn't when people say, well, I have free speech. Yes, you do. You absolutely do have free speech. Um, but when we're talking about Congress shall make no law respecting your freedom of speech or infringing upon your freedom of religion, sometimes people that think that means that you have unlimited free speech in every context, in every setting. What's the one thing we ought to all be shouting uh, for Washington to hear in terms of uh, doing what it actually says in the document? The principles of democracy must be upheld, not just because it's a good thing, not just because we want to vote, not just because people should have a say, but because truly America's place in the world is what it is because of America's enduring democracy. And if we want to maintain that position moving forward, democracy has to be one of our highest ideals. How do we rebuild or strengthen that trust both between each other as individuals and and with our institutions so we need more honest transparency uh, from our institutions and we need the same thing between us as citizens and being willing to have the humility as leaders and as citizens the humility to say, I thought about that a second time and I think I might have been wrong or I can really see where you're coming from. That willingness to acknowledge and understand a different point of view, Sharon says that's where we start to become a more perfect union. And so one of my hopes is that people won't give up. One of my hopes is that people won't lose hope. Sharon McMahon also hosts a podcast and online training courses. You can check those out at ksltv.com, where we also have other stories from this series. I'm Boyd Matheson, KSL 5 News.